WWE SmackDown featured a contract signing between Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns, a presumable blow-off match between Seth Rollins and Murphy and the return of Daniel Bryan. Friday Night SmackDown marked the final WWE television broadcast before WWE Survivor Series 2020. Last week's broadcast of SmackDown was up with 2.234 million viewers. 10,817,143 views up from 10,817,143, given how much WWE books black wrestlers in blocks, I'm becoming increasingly suspicious that WWE will move forward with Big East and the Street Profits as the New Day and pray nobody notices. The New Day walked onto SmackDown with little to no explanation of why they're on the blue brand. The second Sami Zayn got involved in the opening segment, he had to know he was going to get roasted badly and that's exactly what happened. I love all this brand pride that is just now starting to develop days before Survivor Series. The New Day and the Street Profits have zero negative tension between the four headed into Survivor Series, although they did try their best with an inevitable miscommunication spot between Kofi Kingston and Montez Ford. Dolph Ziggler was in perfect position to break up the deciding pinfall and couldn't be bothered to do so. Daniel Bryan's last return happened amid a sea of wrestlers in a throwaway segment. This time around, it was done backstage with a mask on. WWE really needs to start giving Daniel Bryan his damn respect. Sami Zayn made more enemies tonight than just about every heel in WWE currently has. The Survivor Series qualifying matches on SmackDown have just become one big game of musical chairs with yet another last chance qualifying match. Given how much she loses without Roman Reigns lifting a finger to help her, it's possible Tamina's seating assignment is at the end of the table if not under it. Segments like these, especially with soft-speaking badasses like Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre, are a blessing because both get to use their inside voices and that's all they need. I love WWE piping in crowd heat for Roman Reigns calling Drew McIntyre a secondary champion when, in reality, at least half of a real crowd would have reacted to that line like it was a well-played roast joke. They didn't touch this whole segment, and now I can't wait for this match on Sunday. Seth Rollins brought up some sound points about Murphy betraying him despite saving his career. By the end of the promo, Rollins was almost the more sympathetic figure. I hope Murphy knew that, by dating Aaliyah Mysterio, he'd also be essentially dating the entire Mysterio family, who was ringside for this entire match. Seth Rollins kicked Murphy, as a counter, while folded up between the top and middle turnbuckles. I don't think I've seen anything like that in WWE before. Tonight would have been a good night for Murphy to debut new ring gear instead of dressing almost identically to Rollins. After, eye for an eye, I was 100% certain this was the worst feud of 2020.